This big ugly beast tried to crawl into my home today, and I captured it in an old coffee jar. Look at it. Is it me, or are these spiders in the UK getting a bit bigger every year? I don't remember the last time I could see a spider's face in this country. Look, you can see its eyes and its fang mandible thingies. What a beast. This is probably small compared to what's seen in Australia. But in this country, I think this one's pretty big. Look, you can even see the hair on its legs. For some reason it's tired. And so I can poke it, and it doesn't seem to be very active. I know these ones. They're not slow. If he was being his normal self, he'd be running around a jar in a frenzy. And when I poke him with this stem, it would try to run up the stem and out of the jar. This one is tired for some reason. Maybe because it was raining very heavily earlier. Well, this little cretin is not going into my home. I'll let it free since it's outside, but if it tries to come in again, I'm going to smack it flat. And I'll start a war on its family, wherever I find them. I'll stamp out ten of them, to teach them a lesson. I know, I know. Some of you are probably thinking, No, don't hurt him. He's so cute. Spiders are good for the environment. And they're good for your home. They get rid of pests. I'm okay with pests. If I don't like them, I'll stamp them out myself. I don't need a spider's help. If my home got infested by a tremendous amount of pests, I'll either campaign to destroy them all myself, or as a last resort I'll get an exterminator to take care of it. I don't need a spider to keep my home well. They should stay outside. If they come inside, then they're trespassing. I don't go to their cobwebs and stick my finger in them, trying to clean their houses out. If the spider trespasses, it's getting crossed out. 